right to my Virgos. All right, Virgos, let's get right into your reading. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Pluto is retrograde, as you know. That's right. Pluto is that uh, rebirth planet. And so let's see what this rebirth looks like. Let's see what the rebirth looks like. Let's see. Yeah, let's see what this rebirth looks like here. Let's see what this rebirth looks like. All right, we've already prayed over the cards. Already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity um, in your cards. And so let's see what the message is. Let's see what the message is, Virgo. So talking to you wherever Virgo is in your birth chart. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's go. Hopefully you all are having a peaceful weekend. Hopefully you're having a peaceful weekend, protecting your energy as much as you can. Pluto being retrograde is a very sensitive time for everybody. Pluto is that planet, that rebirth planet, right? So it can seem like when you're tuning into social media, it can feel like, oh, so-and-so is breaking loose. Like people are being exposed left and right. All kinds of stuff is going on. But really, everybody's going through a rebirth. And it's really a time for protection, a metamorphosis, you know, seeds are being planted. And you're trying to decide how you're going to grow and how you're going to protect you know, from seedling to sprouting, like what does that look like? Um, and so um, divine connections are being made, all of those things. So, all right. So somebody, here we have the high priestess, the devil card, the eight of pentacles. Here we also have the queen of pentacles, the page of pentacles and knight of pentacles. All right, let's go. High priestess. All right. High priestess. Here we also have the devil card, right? Yeah, so as your gifts are developing, um, some people are really, really afraid to go to that dark side as your, your spiritual gifts are developing. And that really does cause some people to say, okay, stop, nah, -uh. I don't want to know anymore, right? So here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Here we also have the Queen of Pentacles. Here we have the Page of Pentacles. And then we also have the Knight of Pentacles, right? So as you're developing your skill set, like learning how to, you know, master your gifts, right? High priestess, you're going from, you know, that your intuition, listening to your intuition, the unknown, you know, um, going back to feeling like, okay, you, you're not delusional. You're not going crazy. It can really take people to a real dark place. Cause we talk about, it's taking you to like, you know, your, your flesh, like, so, Devil card symbolizes enslaved to some kind of obsession, lust, restrictions, right? So it could make a, it could make a, you know, we make jokes and things about this because we then we're gonna raise the frequency because when we talk about the devil card, you see these two energies chained together, right? It can literally make a person feel like they're afraid of something, you know, like you see, um, you know, like they're afraid of a loss or something. You see like the funny comedic shows they have like, you know, parents they don't let their kids go into, they start their first day of kindergarten, but the parents are just jumping out the bushes and rolling across the grass because they just like, I got to make sure, you know, the teachers are not, you know, saying the wrong thing to my kids and I got to make sure this and I got to make sure that, or, you know, I'm so afraid. Then, it, then that fear can grow into something else. I can't leave this job because... You know, um, this is job security or I can't cut certain things off. It can like really, those demons can grow into something else. It can be like a whole legion of demons that's tied to fear, doubt, uncertainty. It's take you down to a rabbit hole of a whole bunch of things. I can't let this go because what if X, Y, and Z happens? It can be like a whole bunch of if I would have, could have, should have, right? So I see in this rebirth that you're going, this vulnerability that you're going through right now is that somebody is really putting the time in to really do the light and the light and dark in it, like looking at the, the, um, pros and cons, having those conversations at the root in your relationships, right? Because in order for any kind, anything to grow, when you're planting seeds, you need all of the elements. You need air, you need fire, it'll be sunlight, right? You need water. Water connects us with our intuition, our feelings, subconscious habits, divine connections is like quality of relationships, friendships, those kind of things. And so you want to have that connection with source from the inside so that 
when you're, you know, you're in the grocery store, you're picking up on, you're absorbing everybody else's energy because you're standing right next to them in line or you're handing your credit card over or your cash or whatever else over and you're absorbing other people's energy. You're not absorbing whatever else and you're not, all of that is not bunched and jumbled up into something. And you're just like, oh my God, what is all of this, right? Are you trying to get some sleep and you having all these downloads and dreams? So someone is learning how to gain some clarity and break off from, in other words, I see somebody thanking source to, for breaking karmic ties with pentacles, right? Pentacles is health because health is wealth, money, um, generosity, um, breaking unhealthy ties with, um, money, um, practicality, anything in the material well material world right like sometimes parents will overgive their kids something like okay i got to make sure they overget whatever or like okay maybe you feel like okay that's their love language right cuz i feel like somebody's learning love languages and just saying okay you know i don't i should not have to buy your love you know i should not have to give you money in order for you to speak to me i shouldn't have to you know, be always doing something for you. And the same thing in your romantic relationships. So somebody's learning at the root, at the base, what your demons are, like how you start out, you know, is how you're creating those kind of relationships. So if you're the one, for instance, since the devil card connects with, you know, starts out with enslaved to some kind of obsession, lust, or restrictions, if you're very, if you're starting off a relationship in a lustful way, and someone returns that in a lustful way and it's like okay that's not okay that, that that went too far whatever certain energies will know okay that's a karmic right then and there okay but that's just how you you know how like you hear people say um let's let me let me take the lust off the table for a second and let's use money right a person who starts out paying for everything then gets upset when it's not reciprocated. You know what I'm saying? Like you're always the one that's paying for dinner. You're always the one that's driving the carpool. You know, you're always the one that's doing everything. And then now it's your time and you're trying to explain love language. People are looking at you like you, like a deer with a head caught in headlights. And so sources say somebody is learning how about learning how to balance things out from the very beginning at the root, you know, of things. So Let's see. Here we have the King of Pentacles. Something is make, going to make you very wealthy. Here we have the um, Eight of Cups here. Here we also have the um, Ace of Pentacles. Here we also have the Eight of Wands. Here we also have the Queen of Wands and also the Two of Wands. King of Pentacles here, right? So when somebody sees, when somebody looks in the mirror now, instead of somebody see, you know, seeing themselves as being, you know, seeing themselves as like money or their health or their um demons as being dirty and just like some they're saying okay i'm in your uh, your those human frailties you know like okay you're not perfect you're in human form like you know there is no such thing as a perfect human being so somebody is just raising their frequency getting clarity within yourself clear water right and saying okay i'm raising my frequency and i'm setting the tone when i set when i plant seeds when you initiate the seed when you initiate romantic relationships or friendships or you know planting seeds for a business or you're planting seeds for something then you're balancing it out so it doesn't come across as okay this is a this will be end up being a karmic relationship so it's only based on what a person can do for me in the material sense right um here we have the eight of wands and so you don't have a problem obviously attracting what you want because like i said before ace of pentacles source is saying i'm sending um i'm sending connections into your life you know moving forward here we have the ace of pentacles right here sending connections into your life because you've been working really really hard on that you're investing in your skill set somebody has at least eight um you know, somebody has at least eight gifts and talents, which is great. You don't have to mirror anybody else's gifts and talents. You know, all you have to do is see that greatness in you, right? And um, you have to see that. When you look in the mirror, you have to see the greatness in yourself. Here we also have the Queen of Wands here and adjust your crown. 
you're down to earth, you're relatable, you know, you're probably funny, you know, those kind of things. And so Source is saying the whole world is getting ready to open up to you. You know, the whole world is about to open up to you. But when you're around energies who are connected to energies that's basically bullying them or they see that they have low self-esteem or um, there's causing like energies that have low anxiety, you know, I'm not low anxiety, they have anxiety issues or they just feel like they got to, it's like they just go from one extreme to the next in terms of their fire, right? Uh, source is saying to you, uh, they're, in other words, they're chained to their demons and you recognize that they're chained to their demons. Source is saying they're easy to be bought. They can easily be bought. And Source is saying you're recognizing that. So you are doing the mirror work because you have that greatness in you. And sometimes people need to point that out. Sometimes people need to point out the king of pentacles in you like Samuel did David, right? It's like you you are worth more than just what other people, you know, uh, like other people determining your worth, right? So that's what I'm saying for you. So somebody is saying you want a higher frequency, you want divine relationships with energies that know why they're here on planet earth, right? You want infinite flow of divine relationships um, sacred relationships, right. With energies, right. So, um, and you want the breaking of karmic relationships. You gotta be real careful when you say you want to break karmic ties, because that be, <laughs> you wake up and next thing you know, your best friend, not calling you no more. You don't even realize why you're like, well, wait a minute. I thought that was my best friend to the very end. And so it's just like, yeah, but you don't hear conversations that's being had. Not to say that's somebody's best friend, right. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be some relationships where you said, okay, I asked for karmic ties to be broken and you're moving on in faith. And so sources saying that could, that's a relationship within yourself. So you may wake up one day and say, you know what? You don't feel like, you know, uh, hanging around certain people anymore just because. See? There you are. Move on. So here's the devil card again. You're not even necessarily demonizing people. You're just saying, hey, you recognize what your demons are. You're not letting other people determine your worth. That's what it really boils down to, right? So, you know, some people are saying you're not worth anything unless you have certain things, unless you live in a certain zip code, have a certain amount of money. And so as you're going through a rebirth, which is a beautiful time, but it's also, it's a sacred time between you and source, but it's a beautiful time because it's also, it, it, and not, but, but, and it's a beautiful time because you are saying source has already determined your worth. Source has already determined your worth. And so here we have the seven of cups here. So it is tempting, you know, to when you see something to vibrate on a lower frequency. But source says, no, it's, it's a major thing that you asked for and it's coming your way. Because you are, you, you are the king and queen of pentacles. You're the king and queen of on your throne, period. Here we have the um, nine of cups here. So I'm definitely seeing wish being, wishes being fulfilled because that number seven is a never for completion. So you're saying you're no longer asking why. Why did I have to meet certain people? Why do these energies have to come across our path? Because you had to see what it looks like. Like Source gives us a glimpse into what we could have just to show us that if they can get it, so can you. What you do with it is up to you, right? So I, um, so that's what I feel like somebody is doing. It's like, okay, I've had a glimpse of some things. Then I'm like, let me see what I can. I know it's predestined for me to have things. Okay, so what am I going to do with it? So I feel like somebody is thinking about who you're going to be building your legacy with. When I look at your cards here. So eight and three and then night. Yeah, somebody's been definitely working hard on themselves, you know. So congratulations, you know, to you for that. And... Um, some kind of partnership is coming through. Yeah. You don't have to demonize people. We're talking about enslaved to obsessions, right? You could be obsessed with cake, for real. Is the cake the demon? Are the eggs and the sugar and the flour the devil? <laughs> I mean, if you can't stop eating it, I guess it would be. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you're... Um, or, you know, is high priestess... Inter would you demonize that? You know, oh, those people over there, they... So it's just saying, here we have the five of uh, five of swords. It's just, it's a part of a mind game. You know, it's, it's a game of chess that people play, you know, with you to try to convince you that you're not um, highly gifted and talented. So um, here we have the page of pentacles. So I definitely feel like you and somebody coming together are 
whether it's in business and or in love, you and somebody coming together and some kind of partnership um, or investing in yourselves and, um, you know, building a, a very rich legacy together where you're making an impact on your community and the world at large as you're going through a rebirth. And both of you all have been demonized, you know, so here we have the Wheel of Fortune. And so you're going to feel very fortunate, you know, moving forward. You're going to feel very, very fortunate with your gifts moving forward. Here we have the Four of Cups. I do also see like later on down the line, the very people who may be demonizing your gifts, Virgo, later on when they're going through life, you know, life is lifing. They're going through their trials and wondering why their money is slowing down or you know, they wish they can talk to loved ones one more time, depending on what your gifts are, or they hearing voices or can't see clearly, or if they have kids and things are not, you know, they don't understand this in the spirit realm and don't understand that in the spirit realm. Guess who they going to call first? You. Or if you're no longer here, guess who they going to wish they could call? You. Watch. So, Source is saying right now where you are is like continuing to invest in yourself and Source is connecting, making divine connections to your spiritual community. So, yeah, here we have the Hermit card, which is your card, and also the Page of Cups. So, right now, somebody is in Hermit mode, going through a molting process, right, of just kind of sort of peeling back layers in that vulnerability. And Source is saying, I'm, I'm, you know, you got some good news coming across your path, right? And so, of course, because Pluto is retrograde, and not only is this the power and transformation, it's also... Uh, metamorphosis, but it's also the obsession planet. There are some energies that are obsessed with pulling you back just through your memories of demonizing your spiritual gifts. I mean, you know, it takes all kind to make the world go around. It's really about balance. Be careful of just like I said, because there's so much going on in the world that you you know how to pour into yourself so that you are not draining on other people's energy. And I'm saying that for everybody, every channel, because after watching a whole bunch of toxicity about who's being exposed and this happened and that happened, at first it just seems like, oh, that's a salacious gossip, but it is very draining, you know, on you just the screen time. And I'll explain that when I talk about the um, energy hacks and energy leaks in just a second. Make sure you're, you're countering that by, by pouring into yourselves so that you can say, okay, I'm pouring into myself and that way, you know, so when I, I can relax myself and I can hear messages and I can hear the balance in the message, right? I can get what I need to get out of the message and just move forward, right? Yeah, so here we have the angel of prophecy and wisdom, you know, is um, with you. So follow your heart, right? Everything in moderation. That's what I'm talking about. So step through your portal, you know, document your day and night dreams. And so your enemies plan backfire. So you are protected by angels. It's time for you to relax. Do the mirror work because, like I said, there's been some energies that have been assigned, you know, um, to you to mirror your, you know, like I said, demonize you, make you feel bad about your gifts and then turn around and want to, you know, tell people how spiritually gifted they are, you know, in secret. So Source is saying protect your energy. So ask uh, Source for clarity and get some fresh air. So you have a whole new attitude now. This is great. Get locked in and laser focus. Yeah, that's what people usually do. They will, you know. Steal all the hard work and energy that you put into some things. Stamp their name on it. And, uh, but anyway, you, you can't, you can be imitated, but you definitely cannot be duplicated. There's only one you. Everybody has their gifts and talents, special gifts and talents. And so Source is saying you're definitely... Source is going to link you with some energies who have always also been demonized, but it's definitely sacred relationships um, for you where it's not trauma bonding, but you all will definitely understand like, you know, how to, how people would, uh, you know, do those kind of things, how people could do those kind of things. So two of pentacles here we also have the judgment card here we also have the tower card here we also have Marjorie tierra here we also have three of cups and the lover's card yeah like i said some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path and here we have the two of pentacles here yep again further added to balance right healthy balance not just in your money healthy work-life balance so 
if you're spending a lot of screen time watching a lot of salacious stuff on social media or television or whatever, you want to balance it out with something good. So an example that I gave was like uh, in another reading was this like, if you're watching a lot of horror movies, you know, balance it out possibly with comedy, like comedic content where you're laughing, right? Or, you know, after, just like you would watch the day off, like after work, you say, okay, let me go watch the day off, right? And just envision you washing all of that stuff that you've absorbed off of that largest organ, right? And just, again, balancing it out so you can try to get some rest. Here we have the lover's card again. Here we, this is again about balance, some kind of partnership in business and or in love. Here we also have the three of cups. So congratulations to you for something, you know, like I said, somebody is just, like I said, on the other side of you, you I look at, hold on. So three and four, so seven and seven days, we, we got seven again, right? So source is saying now that you have elevated, like emotionally, you have elevated, you're going to a higher frequency emotionally. You're saying, okay, I want, I want a different, different types of relationships. Like I want divine connections, right? Source is saying to you, you know, like I said, it's two types of situations that you may, you may have wanted to demonize in the past, but where you are right now in your hermit mode is just saying that now you have a greater understanding of types of how, you know, of just like just the spirit realm. A lot of people don't, like I said, a lot of people see it as negative when you're able to go down to your flesh, go down to the darkest, darkest of things and pick up things on that frequency and say, oh my God. Like, wow, people really do this kind, these kind of things, right? And they will judge you. They will judge you as if they created you themselves. So here we have the tower card. And so, but it's just, a, it's a setup and it's a trap, you know, when you think about it and it, and it feels like a scorpion sting when you think about it. So, so it's just saying to you, um, some kind of, you've made a total transformation and, um, you know, there's a sudden upheaval going on because of your transformation, a total transformation, just being in your hermit shell, right? And just recognizing different types of energies. Here we have Madre Tierra. So you're closing out cycles. This connects us to Saturn, creating very firm boundaries, leaving certain energies out, you know, of whatever it is that you're doing. And it's just, it's sending some people into a, a tizzy. Like they don't know what to do. Like they don't see, they like wondering what's, what's going on. Who's talking to, you know, Virgo, what's being said, you know, this kind of stuff, right? So like I said before, you're learning how to protect yourselves. You're learning how to protect yourselves. So good for you. Good for you. Let's see what else we got going on here. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close it out. Indulgence. 19. You are worth every desire, every dream. Demand what is yours. Demand what you need. That's right. That's right. You are the king and queen of pentacles. That's what a lot of people know. You're not looking for a better half. You are your better half. You are whole and complete. And so you're the energy you desire to attract. And that's what a lot of people, they think they're trying to, somebody, some energies were trying to determine your, trying to determine your worth and your value. People do that on jobs every single day. It's called job description. And this is what you'll pay. This is what we'll pay you for you know, you meeting our qualifications, right? Which is nothing wrong with that, but people will do it every single day, you know? And so that's why, that's why sometimes people compare people to their exes. That's why sometimes kids compare one parent to the next. Oh, they got this at their house and you don't have that, you know, this kind of thing. So again, source is saying it's sacred geometry, it's signs all around you, all kinds of signs, you know, around you, but this rebirth is powerful for everybody. So like I said, you're going to counter to negative with the positive within, right? That's what I'm seeing for you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You are good enough. Always have been. Always will be. I mean, you are good enough. That's just on that. <laughs> That's just on that. You are good enough. The end. I mean, what else? There's nothing else to it. You are good enough. Always have been. And that's not even, that's not arrogance. That's confidence and source. You have always been good enough, right? So whenever you see the devil in the major arcana, and so, you know, the people who have demonized whatever they want to demonize with you, they're all being shocked right now. Like I said, number five, I am adaptable, right? So flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. Number five. That is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Here are some examples of energy, um, energy 
leaks. So energy leaks are all situations, people, activities, food, drinks, and so on that ultimately leak your energy and diminish the cognitive clarity that um, that you need for pursuing your dreams. So loud noises would be energy leaks, staying up past a certain time, overdosing on caffeinated drinks, too much screen time, staying indoors most of the day, um, midnight emails, you know, like some people feel like, okay, well, since I'm up, I might as well just go ahead and work. Right. So it's like, no, lay down and get some rest. You're trying to, your body is trying to heal. Right. So energy hacks, pour discipline and determination into restructuring your schedule. So it includes downtime and rest movement and time indoors, um, and mindful nourishment and anything else that your body, mind, and spirit might need in order to flourish. And so some examples of that would be solo time, eight hours of sleep, give or take, matcha, swimming, reading, sunbathing, doing one thing at a time with full presence. So those are some examples. Hope you enjoyed the reading. I'll see you all in the next reading. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. You all know by now, if you want a personal one, all of my information is down below. And so don't forget to pull your birth chart. Find out what your moon sign is because somebody is learning how to go through a rebirth, a safe delivery into your new self, right? So you're giving birth to your new self, right? So you want to make sure you protect that. And that's what Source is trying to help you to do with this tower moment. It's like you're in a very vulnerable space right now. And so um, Source is like, but you're going to come out so much better on the other side that it's going to be like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I you know, <laughs> it's like just with the knowledge that you have, right? Just of your, just of your spiritual gifts, that's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.